left off, we had this photo right here, and AU just being downright sadistic and, most importantly, fucking selfish. But, we are at the Roy Ken, and we're about to uh, just get into the hot springs. Uh, or it's just called the hot springs. I don't fucking know. I'm losing common sense. I'll just call it the fucking hot springs. I don't got time for this shit. Because I keep butchering it, and then I'll just fucking get flagged. So, I'm going to just call it the hot springs. So, anyways, they're taking a photo. And Cosmos doesn't seem to notice AU's evil scheme, or she has, she doesn't care. She holds the camera up before her, smiling sweetly. Cosmo, come closer to me. I need you to get into the frame. Of course, right away. AU leans in a little closer to Cosmo, smiling brightly. Her hefty bust pushes up against Cosmos, and she winks cutely. Should I strike a pose like this, or... Maybe like this. That's fine. <laughs> Cosmos gets. This is the first picture I've taken with a friend. Hey, you might be annoying, but she's my friend. I'm really happy. Okay, hey you. Say cheese. Cheese. With a bright smile, Cosmos put pushes the shutter and then takes the photo. Though it's nothing in particularly professional, I can sense Cosmos' love in that selfie. She loves Mar Marina for organizing this trip and AU for being her friend. And I like to think she loves me for being her boyfriend. Cosmos is definitely weird, but her heart is overflowing with affliction. I said affliction. Ignore me. <sighs> Coming here wasn't a mistake at all. Of that, I am certain. By the time the week's up, I'm uh, sure we'll all be good friends. Friends? I thought you said we were friends. We are friends. Why? Why, you ask? Just look at this. Wait, what happened? <laughs> I knew she didn't trust fucking AU. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> That's what the fuck you get, you stupid bitch. Oh man. That's what the fuck you get. <laughs> oh man. You thrust her own phone in Cosmo's face. Her eyes... Betting with embarrassed tears. I didn't know you were going to put stupid filters all over our photo. You never told me about that. Now you make me look like a moron. How dare you upload this online? You're the worst. All of my fans are going to laugh at me, and you fucking deserve it. <laughs> at least they'll get to some entertainment for the personality side. At least they'll see their, her personality side. Like, what's the problem with that, man? What's the problem with that? Unless idols can't get personality sides, are they? Uh, that, that would be weird to me. Is it just me? I don't think you look like a moron. The bunny ears are very cute. You're cute, hey you. I know I'm cute. You don't need to tell me that. I'm adorable, but this photo doesn't do me justice. I look stupid. Delete this at once before anyone sees it. Huh? I can't do that. And why not? Cosmos tips her head askance, impervious to a user wrath. It already has 30,000 likes. <laughs> no way. <laughs> That's what the fuck you get, you dumb bitch. 30,000 people seen me with that stupid bunny filter with all over my cute, charming face. AU collapses against the ground. My career as an idol is over. I'll never lie this down. I hate you, Cosmos. Way. Fuck off. She is just as typical. After that, the day progresses smoothly. The four of us check into our rooms, and then we look around the hot springs, drinking in the atmosphere. When a knife falls, we got into the hot springs. Okay, I, oh, clearly they were going to say it. 
You know what? Ignore me. I, I don't know how to say it, okay? So, please, if I butcher it, please, don't question me, all right? <sighs> Marina books us into a private, mixed-gender hot springs where we can relax without any guests interrupting. This is supposed to be a pleasant, laid-back sort of night. Oh, come on, you two! Seriously? Were you checking out my boyfriend? No, I wasn't. As if I care about a scrawny excuse of a man like him. You were, you were staring, I saw. No, I wasn't. You need to get your head examined, you're crazy. I'm not, I'm slow, but I'm not stupid. I don't appreciate being lied to by my friend. Friend? Ha! Who said we were friends? You did? Because I wanted to profit your from your popularity, duh. It's not like I actually care about you or anything. I think you're a freak. If you hadn't somehow got the teensy binty of internet attention you have, you wouldn't, you would, I wouldn't want to be seen dead with you. You're an embarrassment to suck you by everywhere. An embarrassment? I'm not. Yes, you are, you're pathetic. No, I'm not, you take that back. Oh, for God's sake, I won't. Then I'll make you! Oh boy. Ugh, oh, jeez. I peered over the edge of the hot springs. My frown burrowed. I have... I'm half submerged in the warm bubbly water. But the same can't be said for AU and Cosmos. They're standing a few feet away from the baths, grabbing at one another's hair. If they are not careful, they're going to have an accident. I wish you could learn to be a little nicer. She doesn't need to pick fights with Cosmos all the time. Couldn't she make an effort to be fed? I wouldn't put much faith in that, sadly. Those girls have always been like this. They'll forever argue about the silliest of things. It's enough to try one's patience. Under normal circumstances, I'd give them a piece of my mind. But I suppose brats will be brats. We're on a holiday now, and I'd rather relax. I don't feel like scolding them. And who knows? Getting this pent-up frustration out of their system might be good for them. Marina sounds confident enough, but I can still hear a you and Cosmos shouting at one another. You skank, bully, slut, meanie face, meanie face. Is that the best insult Cosmos can come up with? For a succubus, she's pretty naive. I think that says a lot. Ooh! Marina! God damn, baby! Well, I hope you're right. I don't want to hear any skulls being cracked. It'll be alright if they do crack a skull or two. We suck you by our offering resident. <laughs> Marina reclines in the hot spring beside me. Her apple bottom. I said bottom. <laughs> her ample bosom pushed up against her thighs. Her long silver hair trails in the warm waters, and a seen smile played around her lips. The sun is already set, the moon is high in the sky. It's milky Hot light pours down. Illustrate the great slope of Marina's shoulders and the curves of her bared body. God damn! I can't believe I'm on a retreat with Wakazuki Marina of all people. She's older than AU and Cosmos, yes, but her mature charms are no less enthralling. In fact, she might be even more enthralling than they are right now. Oh, Marina must have caught my wandering gaze, but an amused smile plays about her lips. What are you thinking of, darling? Oh, uh, nothing, really, nothing. Marina leans in, her full breast pressed up against my arm. Are you sure you're not hiding something from me, are you? No, I'm not, I swear. <laughs> my cute dear Hiroki. Marina caressed my cheek 
with her damp palm. You really are a bad liar. I can see what you want. It's written all over your face. You really want to have me. No, I... Shh. Marina pressed her index finger against my lips. I understand how you feel. I understand completely. I'm incredibly attractive. After all, it has been a long while since we were last together. And you and Cosmos are appealing in their own way, and they can't compete with my mature charms. Compared to me, they're still little girls. Well, she's not wrong. Now, granted, I love, I love Cosmos, and she's my girlfriend, but at the same time, it's almost like she just, she's so naive, she can't even freaking realize that she needs to be more mature to deal with AU, and it's starting to get on my nerves a little bit, but hey, I, I can't really do anything. Now, why don't we leave here? Uh, they can squabble on their own like silly children that they are, but we have some real fun. Marina's lips dip beneath the trembling surface of the water. Slowly, her outstretched fingers glide towards my thighs. I can touch, I can feel her touch against my legs, and I gasp. What do you say? Shall we get going? Marina? I love to hold Marina's body close to mine and kiss her and caress her, but... Hey, that's no fair. You can't seduce my... <laughs> I knew she was going to see that. Hey, you not stupid. Fuck. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Excuse me. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't think she was going to see that. God damn it. Uh, you can't seduce my cameraman right in front of me, Marina. That's right. It's dirty. I'm Hiroki's girlfriend, not you. You can't... You, you leave him alone, you sack of Ben. You sack has been, excuse me. He's not interested in old grannies like you. A granny? Why you? Marina pulls her pulls herself away from me. Her teeth glitters in incoherent rage as she glowers at AU. You take that back, AU, if you know what's good for you. No, I won't take it back until you apologize for being so underhand. It's a dirty trick. You can't monopolize Hiroki like that. He's mine. No, he's mine. I think you'll find girls that he's mine. Ugh. <sighs> now all three of them are arguing. I thought Marina was too mature to get drawn into you and Cosmo's little splat, but apparently not. She must have a childish side of her own. I guess nobody, no matter how professional, is completely immune from AU's provocation. I'm a little disappointed that my time with Marina was cut short. But I know, as I recline in the hot springs, that I'll have another chance. This week is only just the beginning. Ugh, I'm exhausted. My dip in the hot springs concluded. I practically throw myself upon my futon. The rooms in this Roiken is a spacious one, with windows that overlooks the courtyard. I can see the shimmering night sky from beyond these windows, and the maple trees as they bow and flutter in the breeze. The wind drums against my windows, begging to be let in, but this room is warm and well and so I leaned back in my covers, luxuriating as cats might. My bare toes curl themselves, and a small smile plays about my lips. I feel utterly drained, but that's hardly a negative. Ever since I met Marina, my life's been a dizzying roller coaster of non stop events and emotions. But I don't think I'll trade it for the world. I'm glad that I met Marina and the rest of her circle, my sisters. Marina warned me that I wouldn't be able to handle all this uh, attention, but I knew, and I think I'm doing a pretty good job so far. It's nice to have an entourage of girls about me, um, and that makes me feel less alone. What would I be doing right now if I hadn't met Marina right anyway? Most likely, I'd be back home in my crummy apartment, counting stains on my wall. Thanks to Marina, I'll be able to stay in a fancy place like this, high in the mountains. I never stayed in Nurokin so luxurious before. I feel almost like a celebrity. 
Part of me wants to roll around in the spotless tatami mat like a little kid might, but I'll curb that impulse for now. Still, I'm doing pretty well for myself, all things considered. That sure is my life. I finally made it. Yes, you have. Congratulations, darling. Uh, my head snapped for one second. I gasped alarm as my eyes laid upon those of my intruders. Of course, I knew who she is. Hey, Cosmos. I greet her with a small wave. How long have you been there? I didn't hear you come in. I was going go. I was going the, back to my room when I heard you talking to yourself. The sound of your voice makes me miss you. So I decided to check up on you. I didn't want to disturb you, so I thought I opened the door very, very quietly and crept inside like a cat. I hope that's not a problem. Oh, no, it's fine. I'm glad to see you, but I would appreciate it if it was a bit of a warning. You could have knocked. Ah, duly noted. I will keep that in mind. Right, then, do you want to sit down? I would love to. Marine, Marina crosses the room, her stocking, stocked sole padding against the toddy mat, and sits beside me of my futon. Her jacket slid down, her arms revealing an ample amount of pink shoulder. Says shoulder is now brushing against me, her side pushed up against mine. Sighing happily, Cosmos rests her head against my shoulders. A few loose strands of her hair tickle my cheeks, but I don't pass count. Sitting next to her feels nice. It reminds me a little bit of the time I spent back in high school with my first girlfriend. Though, Cosmos looks nothing like she did. My first girlfriend was a traditional Japanese beauty with long black hair and very white skin. She was reserved and demure. She wore long dresses like Cosmos, unlike Cosmos shorts. Ugh. If I had to liken her to another girl, I'd probably compare her to her fashion. Ugh. If I had to liken her to another girl, I'd probably compare her to the famous actress Yamamoto Infumi. Infumi, sorry. Um, but that's neither here or there. I haven't seen my ex-girlfriend in years, and I doubt I ever meet Yam. No, Infumi. Right now, I'm happy that I'm spending my time with a certified cutie like Cosmos. We've not known one another very long, but her presence is a soothing. She makes me feel at ease. And speaking of not knowing her that long, hey Cosmos, I was wondering something. What? Do you have a family name? Marina is Wakazuki. A use is a Q. And I not heard yours? It's Moretti. Moretti? Is that Italian? Yeah, that Moretti is the Italian, yeah. Mm-hmm. My mom was a succubus, but my dad was an Italian man. I inherited his name. So Cosmos is Cosmos Moretti. I guess her name being the standard in Western order, since she's part Italian. But I'm wondering if she could speak Italian. This reveal is pretty interesting. I didn't know succubus woman could have babies with human men. But I guess it stands to reason. It doesn't seem like there are any male succubi. Well, I mean, to be quite fair, uh, I wouldn't even get to that, so I'm not even gonna talk about that. But they're pretty. I'm pretty sure there are. Just let me know in the comments, guys. I I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, which must mean female succubi are can only reproduce with humans. I wonder how your average Joe would feel to learn that his partner, and by extension his kid, is a succubus. It sounds like a nasty shock. Doesn't your father know that you were a succubus when you were born? Did your mom tell him? No, he never found out. My mom went back to, to the succubi realm to give birth to me. Up until recently, I'd lived there all my life. So you never knew your dad. Cosmos shakes her head. I'm not the only one. Hey, you and Marina never met their fathers either. Humans aren't supposed to know succubi exists. We're a secret. In most cases, 
not even our fathers know about us. There are a few expectations, though. I see. The ins and outs of succubus in a human relationship sounds pretty complex. Now that I realize how blessed I am that Marina decided to be upfront with me, if it wasn't for her honesty, I'd still be in the dark about her true nature. And Cosmos and AU's. If I never learned Cosmos was a succubus, I doubt I wouldn't have been able to love her as openly as I do. It's hard to keep a relationship going if it mirrored her in secret. Hey, Hiroki? Cosmos inhales, her eyelash fluffs, fl uh, falling shut. You smell good. You said that before, so is, so is Marina, actually. I don't get, get it, though. What am I supposed to to smell of exactly it's hard to say you smell sweet but it's not candy or cookies do it's inciting but it's not overpowering I guess it's a smell of desire desire huh that sounds kind of poetic you think so Cosmo giggles maybe I should post that on the rapid phone feed I'll take a photo of us together in my caption oh don't you fucking dare okay. don't you dare People will think I'm very autistic, even if I have a black or white filter on it. As are trying to feed her phone, and I place it, my hand over hers just in time. Wait, I thought we agreed we couldn't publicize our relationship. Oh yes, you're right. Cosmo slammed my her phone with not an amount of hesitation. She sighs. I trust your judgment. If we, if you think we should keep this a secret, I will. I wish I could tell him. I love you a lot, but I want the world to know it. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed of you either, to be honest. I think I'm punching in the way, way over my weight. Dating a girl like you, you're much more attractive than I am. I'm sure if they showed my plain face to all your followers, they think I'm all the same. They'd say I don't deserve you. They'll start digging into my past, and then they'll re, re me endlessly. They might even claim that I'm blackmailing you into this relationship. No! Cosmos cling to me, her arms wound possessively that about my own. Sorry. This isn't true. They're wrong. You never do anything that awful. I love you because you accept me for who I am. You don't look down on me. You don't mock me. You're supportive and kind. And I smell of desire. Yes, you're wonderful, so don't put yourself down. I'm trying not to. I doubt your fans would be so kind, though. That's sad, but you're right, I think. <coughs> Cosmos sighs. I try to be optimistic, but I know not everybody out there is kind. I received a lot of hate comments myself from people online and other succubi. My sisters always get used to tease me for being weird and awkward. They said so many cruel things. I started to believe them, then I beat myself up too. I felt sad and lonely, but I'm happy now. I have my fans and I have you. You're very special to me and I won't let you go. I don't want you to be harassed too so I won't upload any photos I would like to take a few photos of us together you know? that way I can have things to remember us remember these happy times by would that be a problem a rookie I think this should be fine I'll be on I'll be honored to be in a photo with you cosmos yay cosmos clap her hands together then leaning close let's strike a pose like a couple do Cosmos take a photo in her pocket and points it at us. Cosmos, being a seasoned selfie taker, flashes a peace sign on cue, but I'm a little more reserved. I might be a photographer, but I, only, I usually take photos of other people, not myself. I've never considered my own ordinary features without committing to the ages. But I guess my plainness is offset somewhat by Cosmos' presence. I look brighter than usual when I'm with her, happier, maybe. I'm not sure. Cosmos isn't the same as my ex-girlfriend, but she'll bring out the best in me. And I care for her a lot. I don't quite know how to work my best angles, like Cosmos does, but that doesn't matter. I'm through with being self-conscious. Are you ready, Aroki? I'm gonna take it. I'm ready. I strike the moment Cosmos puts her finger down to take the photos, I lean in and bring my face even closer to hers and kiss her. 
Yeah. <laughs> the consul wasn't expecting the kiss, and she gasped, startled. A blush spread across her cheeks, all the way to the tip of her ears. She looks so funny, I can't help but laugh. <laughs> it's a cheerful laugh, devoiding my usual self-consciousness. Uh, though I worry a lot about what Cosmos fans would say if they found out about us, I feel relaxed when I'm alone with her like this. Does this Cosmos trust me? I trust her. As a fellow outcast, I know she won't sneer at me or deride me. She's very pu she's a very pure and innocent girl. Her penchant of a half naked posing notwithstanding, but I'm happy to have met her. I love all the succubi I've met in a different way, but Cosmos is special. She's really a wonderful girlfriend. Alone once more, I lied back on my futon, exhausted. And this is where I'm going to have to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more of Sucky... Ugh. Fuck. If you guys want to see more of... Sakura Succubus, make sure to leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. And also, hit that notification bell to join the Iron Hide today. It's been said, guys. Later.